welcome back and we're here today in uh, Getley on in Chapel. Take a closer look. The chapel, also known as the White Chapel, was built in 1692 at a crossroads where four roads converge leading from Swansea to Brecorn, a Manford to Neath. In the 17th century, Rev. Lewis Davies established a Sunday school for all ages, which he ran for more than 40 years. In the 18th century, the Rev. Josiah Rees became a well-known writer and publisher. His son Owen was a founder member of Longman's publishing firm. They shared their home with Thomas Morgan, who was subsequently buried at the chapel, renowned for his wide knowledge of herbal remedies. He had been successfully vaccinating local children against smallpox by using cowpox many years before Edward Jenner was recognised for his fight against smallpox. In the 19th century, Minister John James was also head of Vardra House Secondary Boarding School, Cliddock. He was a Greek scholar and a great friend of Iolo Morgan. It is said that when a Greek boat was wrecked off the coast at Langranic, John James was called to converse with the shipwrecks. In the 20th century, the folk of Gelianin put together a printed collection of their own hymns and tunes, the chapel also had its own brass band, ready at the drop of a hat to raise the roof. By the second half of the 20th century, the late Dr. Elwyn Davies, Minister of Gellianen and her daughter, Chapel the Greg, was writing hymns in Welsh and English.
And there you go. That was the White Chapel. Get the on in. <laughs>